Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to another gameplay. Today we're checking out 10 Hearts on my Oculus Rift S. Um, so 10 Hearts is a game, and that's pretty much what I know about it. This is a game that comes highly recommended from my man Roots. He said I need to check it out, so that's what I'm going to do here today. Um, I did watch the trailer for it. Uh, a while back and I don't remember a whole lot. I do think that it's going to be story based uh, I think this is more of a thinking game than an action game, but that that's just uh, Some impressions I have from a vague memory of a trailer from a long time ago So first impressions of the menu screen Well, it's a nice logo there is absolute silence so yeah let's jump in see what this game has to offer welcome to the light carolyn Decent 3D effect. Toy Soldier. Nice 3D effect. I'm listening. Ah, now that's that's better. Yeah, much better. You can't get the hearts to line up just right. Oh, there's the E. It's back there. Now I see it. This light was getting in my way. Grab the box, I see. Or open the box. Hey, little dude. I gotta say, I'm digging all the uh, particle effects. Looks nice. Okay, zero, one. Looks like we may just have a puzzler on our hands, folks. I don't understand what I'm doing here. So do I get to move this now? Try passing the block from hand to hand. Okay. Yeah. So we, what are we trying to get the... Uh, Little dudes in the, um, in the door, is that what I'm trying to do here? I assume that's it. It's 
so he's just going to keep bouncing off stuff until I clear his path. So I just need to basically pick this up right now and then move it. And now he can make his way over there. Okay. The popular new game of puzzle blocks should be in every home. Sold everywhere. High quality toys and games for all the family. Albert Butterworth Toys. Alright, so uh, some nice graphics in this little scene here. Not quite that interactive at all, but it looks like we need to, where's our little dude at first of all? All right, here's the box. We got to get him in this door first, right? And then that one. I assume this is the object. So this will only go on one way, it'll go here. He'll come out and bounce this way, most likely. And we've got to redirect him this way, so. Put that there, and he should walk right in, right? Bounce into that, I would think. Let's find out. Those box to reset the soldiers. Okay. Well, they're both coming. So I guess I need to get ahead of things here. Oh. We don't want that. It'll just knock the little dude off the whole thing, right? So there's three of them. It's going to just march time backwards. Or forwards. It's just speeding up time. I thought I could make it go the other way. No, you just grab it and it... turns quickly all right so I need to get one of these little dudes to go over to that door there so how do we do that we can't rotate these can we which means if I send these guys careening over here they're just going to bounce off and fall off the table, right? So that should do it right there. Am I wrong? I'm glad they put this clock thing in here because this would be a long wait otherwise. Okay. 
I imagine this is going to get difficult at some point. So far, it's just teaching you how things work. There isn't really anything to it. You're just placing the blocks, the only place that they can go. All right, so we got to get four of those guys over there. Now, what would be helpful is if you could just let one of them out at a time. Can you do that? Because I think it said it resets. If you close the box, it just resets. All right, so we have to find our blocks here. Oh, so this is interesting. These guys are going to come out and start walking this way and just walk right off the table. So I have to use the same block and move it quickly. Like that. When one of them walks by, i got to put it over here and get him in the hole there. Right? Then comes the problem of over there. Which I'll get... I'll get something out of this box. Let's see if I can just let one guy out. No, close the box, then it starts, it, it resets. So I'm going to have some dudes to deal with here shortly. Well, no, he's just going to go on in, isn't he? All right. So that's good. That allows me to think a little bit. It says close the box to reset the soldiers. Okay. Okay, so this one stays there. That's good. So now, so you can just reach those magically, it looks like. So we have the T block, which goes over there. I don't think there's any question of whether or not I'm going to need it. Right there. So now we just need to get these dudes over there which means I need a moon it's not the moon right there's the moon nope that's not the moon either there we are All right, so so they bounce off here, go there. It's interesting because I don't know which way they're actually going to go. Let's just see how that works. See what they actually do. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting, huh? I think we're going to have to reset and take that triangle block out of the equation. Do it like this. All right, so just put that back wherever it goes over here. Not there. Where did it go? It went over there. Do 
Do I really have to make it perfect to get it go back up there? I guess so. All right, so now they're gonna come out of here, bounce off that. We gotta have this moon piece ready to go here. There, that should do it. I could say the one thing that this game does have for it is the novelty cuteness factor. It's cute. It's got that, you know, I say it all the time that the things about VR that really strike you the most are scale. Very large things and very small things. And it always is cool to see these little tiny sometimes toys sometimes living beings it's always quite uh striking to check it out to have something that looks very real you know it's so tiny right in front of your face let's go ahead and help things along here There we go. Okay, so now I'm starting to wonder, is this going to be the whole game? Just doing this? I thought there was a story here, but it does not appear to be the case. It just appears to be a, a straight-up puzzler. Locking these little... Uh, toy soldiers into the doors all right lots of blocks here where are they coming from so they're gonna come from here assume walk this way and we have to get them all over there so I suppose we need to work backwards right I thought there was like teleport. I thought that I read in the controls that there was some kind of teleport. So talking about the box. All right, so that will send the little dudes into the door. Let's see, what do we have here, T? No, that one. So what does the T look like on this thing here? All right, so that seems correct so far. But how do we get the little dudes to go that way? Well, one would assume would be through using the triangle block. Come in here, they bounce off. They come in this direction. We need to send them that way. Like that. That seems right, but we're going to find out. All right, help me out here, clock.
Yep, that's going to do it. Again, everything looks and sounds great. I can say that so far. Everything looks and sounds very, very good. All right, so what do we have here? It looks like the box is on the shelf. Little dudes are going to fall down and slide down the book. Feels like um, moss just from the production level of it. Not the gameplay, obviously, but the production level of it. That's what it looks and sounds like. All right. We need to get one dude in there. So he's going to come down. Obviously, we're going to need this. And that. So that'll get us one dude in there, right? You have to be quick to close the lid after the one dude makes it through the door. All right, so that's done. We're going to reset. Let's see what we've got here. Press B or Y to quick turn. Now we have the ability to turn. But does it only go one way? Apparently. <laughs> Hold A to target. Ha. Ah. Thank goodness. You know, I was starting to get worried that there was going to be no story and no movement and it was just going to be what we've been doing and I didn't want to judge it too early but let's just say I'm glad I can move all right so we've got more blocks here we can examine these rooms now which can we interact with anything so if you want to turn the other way, it's goes by controller. It's got that um, immortal legacy controls where the left hand turns left and the right hand turns right. The question is, is can I interact with anything that's not a block? Because I haven't found anything thus far that would suggest that. Only blocks. So while it's nice to be able to move, this far I would say it's an empty gesture. It's nice to be able to look around at these beautiful environments, but it doesn't seem to have any real value other than being able to come over here and get these blocks. All right. Okay. So 
just adds an extra layer of difficulty, I suppose, or not really difficulty, but just more work, honestly, a little extra tediousness to it because I can't just pick up the blocks. I have to go get them now, but as usual with these type of puzzles, we have to work backwards, right? So obviously we, we need a U block. So let's see if we've got one over here or do we need to go get one? Oh, we're going to have to go get all the blocks. Awesome. All right, got the U block. In place. All right, so now we need to feed something into the U block. And the only way that that can happen is off the T block. So let's go get a T block. I'm going to go ahead and take this moon block so I can hopefully make less trips. Maybe I won't need it. Maybe I will. Hopefully there's some place I can put it. All right. Yep. I can hold an extra moon block there. So we're just going to sit it right there. All right. Uh, I don't see any other room for extra blocks. Well, there's an extra, I can use an extra triangle block there, but okay. So I would think that that's it, that that's going to do it, but I'm going to go get another, uh, triangle block just in case they careen off one another and start heading out in that direction. I don't want them to walk off the table and then I have to start all over again so let's let's grab a triangle block and we'll go use it for insurance here so now they'll get directed back into the regular path but again, I know it's early, but this isn't really a puzzle because we're just putting blocks on the puzzle pieces that are here. Hopefully we're still in the tutorial stages and they're not really throwing anything difficult at us yet, but it's coming. All right, uh, clock. Hook us up, clock. We don't have to wait on this. All right, so down off the T block, across the table, off the U block and through the door. Tin man corner pocket. And just like that. Looks like the door came open over there. Can we move this way now? Indeed. Ah, we are in the study. So, looks like there is going to be some complexity to the game. It's not going to all be stationary, and in one room, we're going to get them move around this house and that is that is some incentive because like I said before this game looks and sounds very good so I am inclined to want to explore this building and, and see what I can find all right so that says continue game what, what did the other thing say thought there were more words continue game obviously all right um can I assume that that means that this is the end of the tutorial here you can create load and delete your save games oh 
Okay. And how do we do that, pray tell? I don't know what I'm doing here. Select profile. Replay prologue. I don't want to do that. What does this do? Is that the deletion? I don't know. So it seems like these are the game saves. No? Maybe I'll understand a little more about how this works. So you can scroll through your different save games, I would assume. So if you had someone else playing, they would have a different little toy soldier here. And then when you pick which one you want, you... Oh, that creates a new one. Okay. Well, we don't need a new one. We've already got the one. I think. I don't think I have to create another one. Level 7. Hide and seek. Okay. The plans mounted here show what objects you have unlocked to power over. Block puzzle. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to make more sense eventually. It's a nice study. I assume that this is going to be the menu for every time that I play from here on out now that I've gone through the prologue prologue all right so this is level seven over there I assume that's where I'm going next and later this will become a stage select of some sort uh -huh. Open menu to access options or return to the study. All right, so I know how to do that already. Got some puzzle blocks here that I can power over. There's my door. There's my clock. There's my box. So these little dudes are going to fall off straight away and they're gonna fall off into the U there's the door so you guys know the drill we need to work backwards so we need a triangle block which is green if I'm not mistaken Well, I guess I have to find one, huh? Well, that adds some challenge to it, doesn't it? You have to find the box. Yes, I know. I need to open the thing. I need a triangle box block, though. I don't have one yet. Over there. Okay, so what's going to feed that? Only the T-block can feed that, right? Well, that's interesting because... Can I move these? I can't move these. 
So how are we go? Oh, I see. I see. Let's go get a U block. Oh no, that's a T, but there's a U over here, so. No, that's not a U. Oh, there it is. I knew I saw one over here. Right, so let's go back over here. So now they're going to come out. They're going to bounce off of this deal over to the moon. So let's go get that moon block. I wonder if that was supposed to be the challenge of the level was finding the moon block. All right, they come out off the U block, off the moon. We need another T block, right? And another moon. All right, so what is that? That's a moon. So we're just gonna move this moon over here. And uh, now we just need to find a T block and we're good to go. Hopefully this isn't one of those deals where I'm going to have to move the block. All right. I'm not going to have to like move it from here to here really quick. What about that up there? That's a moon block. I don't think that's what I needed. I think I need another T block. Right? Well, the moon might work. Let me think about this. No, it's just going to send them straight back, isn't it? No, it has to be a T block. There it is. So put the T block in like so. That should do it. So they come out, bounce off this, go there, go there, across the book bridge off of that into here into that and through the door again no real challenge the only challenge was finding the blocks this is kind of like a very basic light puzzle if you ever had those laser puzzles where you have to redirect the beam but there's only one beam so it's not really all that difficult yet I know I know we're just getting started I understand that Let's see if we can get a better view go over here and reach the clock from the other side it'd be nice we can stand here and watch the little dudes oh we can do that They should be coming around the bend. There they are. And there we go. Looks like we have unlocked another room. Hooray. Well, 
Nice looking room. Looks like a child's room. Looks like we had a good 10 up there and six over here. So this, this looks a little more complicated. Especially because that one is not, it's not down here. So how do we get up there? Something's going to be in that box to help me do that. All right, good. Complexity. This is what we wanted. Now, where's the original box with the little guys in it? Is that it over here? It is. So it puts all the way over here. All right, so let's look at this. For a moment so we're going to be able to direct guys over here onto this track we're going to bounce off of that off of the drum onto the table right and that'll be the first one in the in the hole see what i'm saying they're going to come over here bounce off the train there off the drum and into the goal and that'll be the first one and then we'll go from there All right, I need to find a moon block and a T block. I don't see any blocks. Hmm. Can I interact with anything over here? It does not appear so. Ah, there's some blocks. Moon block, T block. T block. Moon block. Down, off the book over here off of that over there okay that should work let's follow it out and see now remember we got to be ready to uh, get back over here and close the box as soon as the little dude gets through the door because we don't want to lose our little guys off the table, right? We got another vision of a man working on a watch. Oh, it's like he jumped off the <laughs> off of the drum, huh? All right, close it, close it, close it. All right, good. What do we have here? Click down on the thumb set stick to pause and unpause time. Now that is handy. That will be very handy to keep me from having to always go back to that uh, 
push left on the thumbstick to rewind time. Push right to fast forward time. So that's handy. That keeps me from having to constantly be facing the clock. And that keeps me from having to constantly have to go back and close the box and reset. That is very handy. All right, so now we've got the guys coming here. Obviously, it's the green triangle block because it's the only thing I can put there. Where did I find those blocks at? Might as well go ahead and grab this other one too, right? Alright, triangle block installed. We need a moon block, do we not? What? What the hell's that? Why did that happen? Yeah, we already did this. Push left on the thumbstick to rewind. We get it. Right to four, fast forward. Alright, so they're going to bounce off of here and go to, toward the moon platform. Hmm. Which means I need a moon block. I may have to reuse blocks using my time manipulation abilities to reuse the moon block from over here. So we gotta like let all the little dudes out. Alright. Fast forward time so we don't have to wait forever on it. But I can like pause it like that. So as soon as the last one gets beyond the moon block, I can pause and grab it. And then make my way over here. And place it. Right there. So they'll come up and then we'll get another one through the door. What I don't understand is where the other 10 are coming from. As you can see there, up there, there's a, uh, a door for 10 of them. Well, there's not 10 of them here. Let's go over here so we can get a better view. nice effect with the magnifying glass even though it doesn't work a whole lot all right so now this one opens and gives us another block what's the deal with these blocks So I can just use these for whatever now? Is that what they are? They can just be placed anywhere? Well, that's helpful, I suppose. Where's my next door? Alright, so I've got to get them over there. Into that door. Which means I've got to get these guys... To that drum over there, right? So again, we've got to work backwards. So we're going to well, we're going to place it like that. 
Let me move it back a little bit. Right there. Right. So now we want to turn this like that. So they're going to come in and bounce off and go this way. Alright, so we just need to rewind time a little bit. Teleport to the other side, of course. And back a little further, guys. And we're going to take this here. Send those guys in that direction. So they're going to bounce off here, off that, off that, off that, down off the drum, back up there. They'll bounce off those books over there. Oh, I need one more, don't I? I'll have to uh, take this one. As soon as the last guy gets past it, I'll have to take this one over there so I can redirect them through the door. So let's just go ahead and do that. Get them all past this first block. Oh crap, rewind. You know, your placement has to be precise, doesn't it? How about that? I appreciate that it has to be precise. It should. It should have to be precise. So that's a good thing. Alright, so now everyone's bounced off this one already so we're going to take it over here carefully and place it right about there but we realize that we may have to adjust that a little bit when it comes down to it all right so let's get over here so we have a good vantage point and see if my plan comes to fruition. Well, so that worked. That one worked. So do you lose if like one of the dudes hit the floor? Does it just start you over? Alright, so this is working. I just need to move this a little more this way. And that should do it. So yeah, basically this is a light puzzle game, but it, instead of using lights, it uses toys, but it's the same concept as a, as a light puzzle, which I like. I just like to be challenged, <clears throat> and this one actually had some moderate amount of challenge to it, so this was enjoyable. Leave that be. What is it? I want to take a peek, I, please. You will, you will, when it's ready. Is there something for me? Well, all I can say is that it's a very special treat for a very special girl. Oh, do you hear that? I think Mummy is calling. Coming, Mummy. What, your mom's in the dungeon? Can we go get mommy's bones from the dungeon, please? So she can finally rest. Alright, so obviously we're going to be back to this room. 
because there's a zero out of 10 door over there. So obviously we're going to be moving around the house and the puzzles are going to get more complex as we go. Thank goodness. Right. Because I was starting to think at the, uh, throughout the beginning of this game, that this game was going to be all shine. You know, it's all going to be about having beautiful visuals and, and good music and sound, but that was it. But I can see now that this is actually going to be, uh, or has the potential to be anyway, uh, a decent light puzzler, which I like. I like light puzzles are, are super cool. So this is a definitely a unique take on light puzzles. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. I was initially thinking that I might not come back to this game, but now I know that I definitely am at least going to go through one more session and see if this improvement continues uh through the next few levels which i uh i fully expect that it will so anyway uh be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you like what you see here click the like button subscribe and don't forget the notification bell when we return we're going to uh continue to follow the story through this cottage and through that door and uh continue to help these little toys make it into their little homes All right well until then i want to thank you for watching and i will see you another day from another game thanks for watching folks bye bye